A story that is sure to inspire you, even as it brings a tear to your eye. A Cleveland 10 year old who's just been placed in hospice care is sending a message of gratitude and hope even through all of her struggles. ABC 13's Pooja Lodia introduces us to Blakely Edwards. It was so Blake. Oh, okay. Blakely Edwards is just 10 years old, but she's already been through more than most of us can imagine. I'm still going. I'm not giving up because I want to be here with my mom. <laughs> It's hard to go through this. I'm used to it by now. But I would like to thank for all the people. Blakely was two when she was first diagnosed with kidney cancer. After years of surgeries, chemotherapy, and painful nights in the hospital, her tumor is back, and it's now closing off her windpipe. After consultation with doctors, Blakely has decided to forego further treatment. She will spend her final days surrounded by family. I want her to do everything that she wants to do. It doesn't matter what it is, we'll do it. Just so that she knows that, that she's loved. I think she knows that. She's just had to make decisions that no 10 year old should ever have to make. It's, there's nothing fair about it. When treatment no longer works, you focus on memories. And Blakely, just like so many of us, loves the beach. You will also have a golf cart there waiting for you that you'll be able to, I don't know about your mom, but I, I'd let you drive it. You can drive it all over the beach. She wants to. The area's family understands Blakely's present and future far too well. Their daughter, Abigail, was diagnosed with the same rare kidney cancer. Before she died in 2019, she too fulfilled her dreams. Officer Arias's family now carries on her legacy with a nonprofit in her name. Helping Blakely is an honor. And she's continuing to live. That's a hero. That's bravery. They're providing a beach house Absolutely. for the Edwards family. Uh, and others, both friends and strangers, have also reached out, giving whatever they can. Extra donations will go toward memorial services. These people are so giving. I get, I have probably 300 texts that I still haven't been able to respond to. I stay up to about two in the morning trying to thank everybody for anything they can do for her. I know I might not know some of the people that's been donating money, but I, I'm going to start praying for y'all, for y'all can have a blessed day like I do every day, for it can be easier on y'all, too. Prayers from a young girl who still has so much to give. Reporting in Cleveland, Pooja Lodia, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.